what are the actions of systemic enzymes? There are five primary actions to a systemic enzyme. Number one, they fight off inflammation. Inflammation is caused by little buggers called circulating immune complexes. It's a, it's a collective name for a group of things we call prostaglandins. I'll give you an, an, an example. You've got an injured shoulder. Your immune system is picking up a signal from the shoulder that says, I'm irritated. The immune system will then create a little protein called the circulating immune complex, a prostaglandin number something or other, which floats down just to that particular shoulder. It's tagged with a special protein just for that shoulder. As a matter of fact, the fellow who discovered this type of protein tagging won the, the Nobel Prize in biochemistry in 1999. And that little CIC crawls into that shoulder and causes inflammation. The classic definition of inflammation is redness, swelling, and pain. It's a signal to you to stop using me. I'm hurt. Give me some time to rest. The problem is infl inflammation is a self perpetuating mechanism. The inflammation itself will send the signal to the immune system to create more CICs and the, the, the chain just goes on and on and on well past the time that you were originally hurt. Enzymes act by eating away at the circulating immune complexes. There are two kinds of circulating immune complexes in the body. Those that the body tags so that the enzymes consider them to be endogenous or belonging to the body and those that the enzymes tag so that the body will consider them uh, no, excuse me right endogenous belonging to the body I'll get this right and those that the body tags as being exogenous or not belonging to the body in other words it looks like a piece of steak floating in your bloodstream enzymes are lock and key mechanisms the keys only fit a certain kind of lock they will go after what it considers to be an exogenous protein and leave alone what it considers to be an endogenous protein. There are circulating immune, immune complexes that run your kidneys, maintain kidney function, maintain the lining in your intestines, clean out your liver. If you don't have those CICs floating around, you're in trouble. When an enzyme works as an anti-inflammatory, it will go in and eat away the CICs it sees to be exogenous. Let's contrast this with the function of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, relevant, Vioxx, Celebrex, the COX-1 and COX-2 inhibitors. They will shut down most all CIC production. The COX-2s weren't supposed to do this. It turns out they, they did it faster than, than, than the COX-1s. When you do this, when you shut down all CIC production, what suffers? You shut down renal function. You shut down your kidneys. You shut down your, enough of your kidneys, you're dead. You create liver toxicity. And you don't renew the lining in your intestines so your own gastric juices will bore great big holes through them through which you will bleed out and hemorrhage. 100,000 Americans wind up in the hospital each year with the side effects of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Another 20,000 will die. Every year, 20,000 on the average will die. The enzymes eat away at just the CICs it sees the body does not need, the exogenous ones, and will leave alone the endogenous ones. 